So I'm trying to get my electrical stuff all out. Their packaging is unbelievable. I mean, there's the uh, uh, cushioning that's around it. You can see it here, all this is packed in there very, very, very well. And then inside a lot of that, there's my, uh, um, what do they call it right now? <laughs> Anyways, inside there, everything's filled up with bubble wrap. See, everything's bubble wrapped. But even still with all that bubble wrap and everything, this is a breaker. It's not even open yet, but you can see the switch. The switch is broken off right there, the little plastic part. Uh, because I ordered this almost a year ago, I don't know if I can get a replacement for that or not. Check this out here. So you see this, the plastic switch just broke off of that. It should be on there. I don't know if I can... Still switch it, flip it on my own. But it'd be a little better if I actually had a good switch on there. So I'm gonna call them and see if I can get that replaced. So that should be on there. So even all that packaging and bubble wrap or still came out broke. And I probably should have gone through everything when it came in. But um, it was difficult to I didn't want to unbox everything, especially since we're getting ready to move. So I basically glanced on the inside make sure nothing broke a couple of the boxes had dents in the sides so i just did a quick look at it to make sure that there wasn't any major damage but like this this uh big breaker here was actually wrapped in bubble wrap inside a box inside something else and there was no way to uh, know unless i disassembled everything so hopefully that's the only thing that i find that's that's broken what i'm trying to do is get everything mounted on the wall behind me I started to get my batteries laid out there and uh, trying to figure out the best way to get those set up. Um, my goal right now, I've been watching videos. The Schneider's uh, YouTube channel has been very good, uh, helpful. A couple of videos, their uh, webinar uh, channel, webinar uh, part of their YouTube channel is actually uh, is where you need to go to look at all the uh, uh, kind of how to's on it. Um, it's not complete and not exactly what I want, but I've got enough information to get me started anyways. So now I'm going to try and get these uh, mounted up and then I'll work on the uh, wiring um, probably here in the next couple days. Since I haven't found any videos online on how to connect everything, I'm going to try and uh, brainstorm this with you as I'm trying to figure it out. So the easiest part Here's the hanging bracket for the inverter. Um, these are the screws I'm going to use. These are uh, structural screws. These are two and seven eighths. And they'll fit through just like that. One, two, three, and four. These, and I dropped that. So this inverter, it says it, I think it says 150 pounds, but it is way heavier than these batteries, which are 125 pounds. I can pick those up, no problem. That guy's a beast. I'm thinking it's a lot heavier than 150 pounds, but lifting out of the box and it fell and, or it didn't fall, it slipped and then my hand just raked along the side and busted my nail. So I'm trying not to get blood all over my nice white equipment here. But these are spaced at 16 inches, these outer holes. So I've got a stud, you know, stacked everything. So I got my studs underneath my floor joists. So that'll be perfectly at 16 inches. In the left hand side, how that groove is like a Lego piece, fits into the right hand side. So when I hang the next inverter, so I'll have one here, the next one will fit right up next to it like that. My power box, which is that big one there, also has the exact same hanger. It'll sit right next to it there and those all line up together and hook right next to each other. I'm trying to figure out is now they're next to each other now what happens so on the side of my inverter here there's nothing there's no holes nothing to go in there this is the um, oh, what do I call that you can find out here let's get to the right terminology that is the conduit box sorry I think the uh, camera turned there but that's the conduit box 
also in the conduit box, which there's one right here for the other inverter, it just hooks on to the top or the bottom. Sorry, this is upside down. So I've already taken these two screws out so I can take this front panel off. So this box, you can see there's a screw there. There's one on the other side. So that this can just put the screws off the top so I don't lose them. So that just comes off and hooks onto the bottom like so. Put it back, tighten them down, get on there's a couple screws to hold the uh, everything in, in place. So this just rests inside this pocket right here in this groove on the back side of this welded piece. It just hooks right in into there. And then you're supposed to put some screws through the top into your uh, backer. Uh, wood to hold it all in, in place and then when you put your conduit box in here there's a couple screw holes at the bottom to screw that in place as well then it'll be totally secured to the wall so that conduit uh, knockouts in the back which i don't know how we even use those ones in the bottom which i may use and then in the side this panel comes off so i've got it down there so i'm assuming you just leave this panel off completely the next unit goes next to it. Now you have a way to pass through to the other side if you need to. So on this side would be my um, power. I'll get you the right name on that. That was in this box. That is the uh, distribution panel. Power PDP, power distribution panel. So it has the exact same panel here that I can take out. So that will hook up to that on the side, this side, and I take those two uh, side panels off, and then I'll have access through all three of them, and all three of these line up perfectly together by those uh, hanger plates. It's all nice along the wall. The issue I'm having is how to get my load controllers set up because all they have are these knockouts on the side and then what's weird is they have these little screws which can come out a decent distance and the odd thing on that is that that happens to line up perfectly with this notch right there so I'm assuming I would knock that out, loosen this, and that would hook into my top one just perfectly. On the bottom though, this screw lines up with that notch, or that hole. So I don't know if I hook it in the top and then take this screw out and then screw it through there into that one and hooks them together, I would assume. That's what I'm thinking that I might have to do. Now the next charge controller goes on this side. So now the question is how does that hook together? I know if I take this panel off, I can see the back side of this screw. And if I turn it on the other side and screw through there, this actually, the screw pops out enough, I believe enough, to catch the next box so that they would be attached together. Um, I do not know how this one will work though. I, I took this panel off and glanced in there and it's nothing but electronics. I don't know how I would even get a screwdriver in there to unscrew this to attach it to the next one. And I can't put them slap up against each other because this this would push it out so i'm wondering if i just need to take this out slap it up against it the bottom one would screw to the one next to it and then i would use these hangers to hang them next to each other i'm not sure if that how it goes if that's the way it works or not so i'm going to take this top panel off one more time 
and um, just glance in there and see if I can even get access to that screw, but I really I don't think I can. I don't think I want to because this is all electrical components up in there. Not something that I want to mess with. Okay, so I've got my cover off and I went ahead and turned this screw around so you can see that it sticks out. Oh, maybe just 3 sixteenths of an inch. And I believe that's enough to when I put the other side next to it that it would screw into this side and connect the bottoms. Um, so the way this is set up on here, you have your PV positive and PV negative. PV positive is on the right. That is the input from your solar panels. Now there are three jacks there, but you're only going to use two of them. Um, this is only set up to use a max of uh, two um, uh, panels or strings run together. And then on the top is where your fuse goes. You're only going to use the negative side. Um, the positive, if you're just doing residential, you're just going to put your fuse in here in the negative side and nothing goes in the positive side. And then this would go out to your batteries. I'm still trying to figure out, when I hook three together, how this all goes out to the batteries. I believe i got to put it into a bus bar and then um, it'll distribute to the batteries. I'm not 100% sure yet. And then I've got my information um, lines here for my controllers. One of them is a battery temperature sensor as well, I believe. And I'll get onto that later, but it runs through this aluminum chase, which comes down and can run out this way into the next box. There's a little knockout on that corner there, and a knockout on this side. So I'm gonna knock those out so my communication wires can all run in this chase back here and be, be protected. Um, on the top half, I was talking about screwing those together. So I got this screw here and I hope I get to the back side on it. Um, so that screw should attach into that notch, my power distribution panel, I believe. But when my next controller fits onto this side, I don't know how it's gonna connect. And so I was hoping I could do the same thing at the bottom where that screw would stick out enough and then I could just screw it to the next one. But, I took this panel off and just peeked inside, and yeah, there is no way I am getting into that screw. There's, it's just not going to happen, and I'm not going to mess with all that wiring trying to figure it out. So my plan is just to simply take these screws out so that the next one can fit flush up against here, and then I'll just screw it to the wall with the uh, hanger right there. And that'll be on the top and the bottom will hopefully tie together with that little screw right there. So unless I find something different or a different way to do it, that's what my plan is. But one thing I also didn't note was that you've got the one screw hole in the top. But then at the bottom, you've got two right there. So once that's uh, hung properly, I can go ahead and screw those directly into my plywood wall. Yeah, I'm taking everything off and that one definitely hooks right in there. The other one does line up with this notch. But the problem I'm seeing is that none of these knockouts line up with these knockouts. So if this panel is on and these two are pinched together, nothing lines up. Take, um, if I take this panel off, then I believe almost almost all the knockouts. Let's just look at that. Take this off real quick. Take this panel out. Now we line those up. All my knockouts are readily available, but now I have nothing to screw to. And actually, that will slide down a little bit. Okay, that's set. 
so all but one of my knockouts, this one is really accessible, so I've got two good ones there. Um, so let's think about this. And all the ones that I've seen, you have your inverters, your load box, power distribution panel, whatever you want to call it. And you have your charge controllers on this side. But I'm wondering if I would put this on the end. Two inverters, two conduit boxes. And then I put my charge controllers on this side. These, of course, would all line up. And that screw should be able to screw. I haven't got another one. I to confirm that that would screw that together, but I'll see how it wouldn't. And then on the side of the conduit box, I can take this panel off and it would just flow right into there. Of course, I guess it doesn't really matter. I could take it off there and it does the exact same thing. <sighs> I really wish their instructions were more clear on this. They don't really have instructions. That's the problem. There's no real assembly instructions that came with this. I'm just kind of winging it. What are you doing down there? I'm enjoying the cat. Ha. Ah. The good, the good kitty, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess you need to decide how I'm going to set this up and just go with it. Really, I guess if that panel's off, it wouldn't need to be tied to that, as long as it's tied in at the top. And I will use these two screw holes at the bottom to hold it together. And then as my wires come through, I don't know how they come through with that. Because that plastic thing is, this, as this is to separate your battery power from your solar uh, power coming in. And on the bottom, there's just nothing there. So how is power supposed to come out of that and into something else? And there you go. At least the knockouts for the uh, wire or for the communication chase line up. They line up good, so that's connected. They'll run my communication lines through. Huh. 